So we've been talking about um, investing oneself, one heart, one mi one's mind, one's thoughts, one's feelings, one's energy, one's interests. Where are you most of the time? What are you focused on most of the time? What's most of you all about, really? Where are you storing up stuff? Where are you seeking for reward? Uh, and this is about the inner life. Well, it's interesting, um, nestled between these two parts of Jesus' sermon, where he's talking, obviously, in terms of physical money, to start off, money, wealth, uh, there is this little passage on the eye. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. If your eye is bad, your whole body is full of darkness. Well, what's Jesus getting at here in this context of investment, of storing up for yourself in heaven? Well, one, one critic told me, I mean, I, reading one critic, they said that they had a different understanding of the relationship of the eye to the body back then, a, a different sort of science, if you will. And they thought, according to this critic, that um, light came into the eye and then it actually went into the body. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter whether that critic's right or wrong. What does matter is the crucial importance of the eye for our soul. Um, what, what do we look at? Where is our focus? What are we gazing at? What do we tend to see when we walk down the street? How do you see a person you meet? Uh, do you see them the way Jesus would see them? Or do you see them to figure out how to get an advantage? How to use them? How to, oh, here's an opportunity for you. Um, the eye is the soul of the, of the body, if you will. Uh, the eye is the soul of our person and our inner person in the sense of with our eye, we focus a lot of what we're invested in as a person. I remember when I, I at one point in my academic career, I was rooming with um, a, another person who was interested in literature like I was, and we got to talking about photography. And I was saying, I get it that photography is art, but it is strange that it's art because an artist creates stuff. They paint stuff. They come up with an, a picture or they come up with a great scene, or they come up with abstract art. And so they create that. I get that, that that's art. It's hard for me to, to come to grips with photographs being art. And this, my friend said, well, I see what your point is. Different for, I see your point. It's different from most art in that way. But he, then he said, look at this, uh, this photographer. He named a, a great artistic photographer, and he said, when I look out at nature, when I look out a, at a city scene, I don't see what he sees. Ah, that's what we need to think about. Jesus is interested in what you see when you look out. What do your eyes focus on and what do they allow in to your soul? Is it, is it light that your focus allows into your soul or is it darkness? Is it a different way of seeing the world? that is really, really not good for you. And if what you focus on is dark, then how great indeed, he says, is the darkness in your soul. So once again, I think this way of looking at it is also about investing. Where are you investing yourself? Where are you investing your focus, your energy, your heart, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams? Who are you in the way you focus? So I will be right back with some more, my, my third and concluding uh, reflection on this passage.